Hello, hello. This is Heidi Caswell again with uh, Blogging 101 for Boomers. And we're going to go into more detail on adding pages and posts. And right now we're going to be adding the content to the page. And adding content to posts works much the same way. Okay, here we are on what I'm now using for my home page. And I have start here written up there is the title. Um, this is where I'd like people to get started on when they go to my tutorial website. And you have two tabs if you look along here. One says visual and some says HTML. Now if you do not know HTML, you probably want to have it clicked on the visual tab. If you have some code that you're going to cut and paste in here from another site, then you're going to want to uh, switch over to the HTML part to um, copy your code in. Uh, we'll get into that part in a little bit. We're going to go back over here to the visual. And a few things that you can do here, you can see there's all kinds of different um, little icons along here that each do different things. Uh, this is some information I just cut and pasted here from uh, the other page that I had made up as a placeholder. But as you make it up, um, like right here you can see it has spell check in it. Uh, it wants it to have WordPress with a two word. However, WordPress really is one word because it is uh, the name of the software you are using. And even though spell check has it as two, it is okay to have it as one. Um, but in fact, you can tell you do have spell check there. And that can help check your word. Uh, see these little dots here? This is how you can have the drop down menu. Um, if you look right up here, um, that'll put, um, that switched it from the list of what we have. And we not, let me go fix it back up once. If you go over here at the very end, it says kitchen sink. And there's a lot of things on kitchen sink. And then you have here, you have like an undo. And that puts it right back to where it was. You can redo to go back to where you want. And this gives us all the different options that we have here. We're going to go over several of these options. Okay, I'm going back over here, and um, you can see this next one is the italics. This is so if you want to go ahead and highlight uh, something, let's go ahead and highlight this WordPress word here, and just that'll make it as italics. Update, and you can see what it looks like. Okay, here you can see WordPress is in italics. And this may be good to use when you're putting the name of a book or something up like that to go ahead and uh, have it stand out. Now this next one I don't use much. Uh, you go ahead and you highlight what you want. This is if you want to strike through something. Like you want to go through and show that you've edited it and you mark that out. There you can see that it's striked out. Not that I really want to use here, so I'm going to undo that. Once you save something, you can't really go back and hit the undo button but I can highlight it uncheck it and that will put back to what it was. Let me show you the quote button. You can see the quotes that are here and just go ahead if you bring a quote from someone just go ahead and go like that and it's going to show up differently on the site depending on your theme how it has the quote show up. On this theme, the quotes and CSS, they don't show up any different than the regular word, so it doesn't really help a lot to use that. Again, that is different from theme to theme. We'll come back and show you how to do the uh, list. See you in a minute.